The advertisement in the bottom corner of this newspaper promises an opportunity to make money without having to work for it. You invest a minimum of 50,000 rand and sit back. In the first year, you will be paid back 7,500 rand per month. That is 90,000 rand a year. In year two, the money rises to 22,500 per month and in year three, it goes to 30,000 per month. The ad says your capital is guaranteed and that the opportunity is available for a limited period only. Then there is small print and contact details to hop on board. We received the ad when we submitted details to this website. Here the promise is a 38% return per annum on an investment of 50,000 Rand for which one receives a license which in turn entitles one to a share of the profits. The image on the screen is part of the reply in which we were also sent the adverts mentioned earlier. To our minds, this was too good to be true, so we asked more questions and received an email reply from Melanie Cope at a company called Fin Capital. A license allows you to receive a profit share depending on your license structure through the sale of banner advertisements and advertising credits. What do you do with my money once I buy the license? License fees are also used to fund operational expenses as well as national advertising campaigns as can be seen currently on TV, radio and various print media. And what is the underlying asset that produces the 38% return I will be given? The profit share is based on our performance, specifically the sale of banner advertisements and advertising credits. This percentage is what our current licensed partners have received so far in profit share. Essentially it means that the 38% returns are generated from placing advertisements that would mean the advertising industry is pumping money. To make sure, we spoke to a number of the biggest players in the advertising industry in South Africa. None have ever heard of all quotes and none have ever seen or heard of returns of 38%, not even 20%. We showed the business opportunity to some investment professionals with years of experience. They had choice words for it. It reminds me of doing... Um the South Sea bubble, which was in about the 17-somethings, if I'm not mistaken, one of the companies that listed in its prospectus said that um, if you were to give us money as a shareholder, we will make you that kind of return, but we can't tell you why we or how we are going to do it because our secret is too valuable. That ended in tears. This sounds exactly the same three, four hundred years later. So it's, 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 it's patently impossible for that kind of return in any normal um, investment. Would you say it's a scam? Yes. Easy as that. Next, we emailed the company and accused them of running a Ponzi scheme. They flatly denied this. They even denied advertising the scheme to provide 38% returns per month. But one part of their denial did speak volumes. Our advertisements are not an attempt to prove legitimacy. Their point is to attract potential customers and consumers to all quotes so as to ensure that our business opportunity proves to be successful and beneficial for our licensed partners. In a nutshell, the all quotes opportunity to earn passive income does not rely on a rational business model and the people involved cannot explain it either. Rob Rose is a well-known journalist who has exposed Ponzi schemes in the past. The problem is that the business model is very unclear. It's not sure how they're going to make money from what they take in. Uh, it seems like they're taking in 50,000 Rand per license, if I'm correct. And they promise to pay you returns that appear to be increasing on a very speculative basis. It's unclear how they're going to make the money. And I think that's a big warning sign. Whenever It's not unclear how you're going to make money from an investment scheme. Um, questions need to be asked. And transparency is always one of the big factors in, in pyramid schemes. We gave allquotes.co.za several opportunities to respond on camera to our accusations. They declined. So, is it too good to be true? Is allquotes.co.za offering a Ponzi scheme? Next, we will take this to the relevant authorities and let them decide. Gunter Deutsch, SBC News. Well, there it is.